Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kalechi Okori and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved um visit how I achieved this particular design, okay? So without wasting much time, let's just jump right into the tutorial. Please stick with me to the end. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please I would advise you to, to I would advise you to do that now so you can get more you can learn more about Canva. And also turn on post notifications so they will notify you whenever I upload a new tutorial. So let's go into the tutorial. Now I'm going to select create a design and use a custom size. I use 3000 by 35. If I'm not mistaken, no, 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 3000 by 4000. Yeah. So create new design. Boom. Boom, this is our blank page or canvas and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a color I'm going to use orange I think it is orange I can't I think it is orange yep so I'm going to select orange color and then the next thing I'm going to do is to add my text I used Anton Anton is meaning why I used Anton since I discovered Beba's new, I've been using it a lot and forgot about Anton. But today I used Anton, so I'm gonna shoes. And then this first of all, let me change it to Anton. No, not for room. Please don't expose my forum. <laughs> so this is shoes. I'm gonna take this one all the way to the top and change the color to white. And this is shoes. I'm going to change the effect to hollow effect and reduce the thickness. Increasing. Oh, I can increase this again. Wow. Yes. So we have shoes. I'm going to duplicate this again and bring it down somewhere here. So we have two shoes duplicate this bring it down here so we have four lines of shoes make it I'm gonna put it in the middle so this is shoes we have shoes one two three four outlined Anton text now what the next thing I'm going to do first of all I would okay no it's all good first thing i need i'm going to do is um i'm going to duplicate okay first of all let me add the photo of the shoe oops this is not the photo i was talking about so i'm going to search for shoes or shoe and i'm going to use is the i'm going to use this let me just use this bring it to the front so we have our first shoe right here. I'm going to increase the size. Bring it in the middle. Well, this is our first shoe. Imagine advertising your product like this. Damn, you're going to get, you're going to um, capture the attention of your target audience. So this is the first page. Like I said, the first page is always, um, it's always, the most important page so you need to get everything right in the first page before moving over to the next so now i'm going to duplicate i'm going to duplicate this yep and then this one i'm going to remove the effect so there will be no effect on this one I'm going to duplicate it again. Please stick with me. Okay, I'm going to remove the outline effects changes to none. Duplicate this and do the same for this. So, oh, sorry. Remove the effects. So we have four effects. Okay, one, two, three, four. It's supposed to be five. supposed to be five okay yep yep i'm going to duplicate this and it's going to be five so we have this all done 
one, two, three, four. So let's move on. Let me show you the next step. Now, um, this this five pages right here is not animated. I will need to animate it. Okay. So I'm going to start something here. You know, um, now just watch. The whole place is covered as it is now. There's no way for me to click on the background. Everything is covered. So I have to make space for that. That's why I, I move this a bit. Then click on the background. Now I can animate everything on this particular design. The shoes and the text, I can animate it. But I don't want to select any particular animation. I just want the animation to be on the page. I'm going to make this 0.2 and apply it to all five pages and okay and i'm going to click on this see but it's not going to play because um there's no animation there's no animation there's no animation so what do i do drop this here drop this here then animate click on simple and then apply it to all pages now as you can see there is um the time has appeared here okay now this one it's two seconds and this one is five seconds but we're not going to be using this particular um page i'm going to just watch i'm going to press play okay now watch it again I'm going to press play and it's going to move to play so now that we have that sorry i'm going to delete this I delete go sorry i'm still going to use this don't worry i'm still going to use this but let's just watch up right to the end so now we have one page two page three page four page and then we have five page five pages okay i'm not really counting this one now so i'm going to select this grid view now do you know that do you know that you can duplicate more than one pages okay at the same time now i've selected five pages here okay i will just right click and click on duplicate five pages now it makes it easier for me sorry i'm just gonna confirm something okay I, I just need to confirm something which i just did now this i'm supposed to start from um supposed to start from this part and remove the effect sorry as i wanted to confirm so this one it's not needed One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we are going to Okay, this is getting long. I'm just going to quickly um finish this uh, this is going to be deleted now we have um 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have 10 pages remember i'm not counting this one i just used it to make sure that i can animate the rest of the pages so um we need to select this now you can change the color note that one two three four five this is where it ends for this particular one so for this one now you can change it you can change the color and the shoe change this to let's say red or maybe blue okay i'm going to copy this copy the background so it's easier for me to change the rest of the background and then the shoe i can change the shoe something like this to the front okay now i'm just going to change the background first paste 
pastes, 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 and that's it. Then the shoe now I can change the shoe Oops, too big, too big. Copy and paste. Copy and paste will be better. So you still you maintain the same size of the shoe okay you maintain the same size of the shoe so when um it's when you animate it it's going to look okay Let's see it's going to look nice so now we've done that for two shoes one one two select this and so like i showed you you can select five pages and duplicate duplicate the five pages that we're using one two three four five and repeat the same process okay repeat the same process we're going to use a different shoe I'm just going to work with three shoes, but I hope you'll be able to get um, my point. So I'm taking this to the back, deleting this, changing the color of this one. Which color should I use now? Let me use pink. And copy the background so it's easier for me to just copy and paste, then come over to the shoe. So I'm going to paste this here, paste this here pastes paste and that's it for the five then now i'll move over to the shoe i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here remember so it maintains the same size So we are almost done with this. Okay, so we have um one, two, we have um three shoes here. So this one now I have to make I have to animate this particular page so um the animation option would work for this other ones, but I can just you can just use this last page as uh, maybe you drop your information like order now or how to contact you how to reach out to you you can do that on this last page so when they've seen all the shoes what they will see is your contact information or your um address or how they can locate you so i'm just going to leave this here because I, I already explained if you notice here i did it for one two three four Five. This one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fourteen shoes, and this is what I'm trying to tell you. For the last page, I animated this page. So the same thing I said you can add here is what i did here to make sure that the rest of the other pages are animated there might be another way another simpler way to do that if i discover that i'll make sure to let you know and i did the same thing here just um took a couple of the shoes and placed here and added the animation okay the same thing i did here that is something i did here which you can also do for this last page so now let's add our music i'll go to audio and select you again this particular song a lot can reduce the speed you can use the speed now this one is set at 0.2 seconds if you have a lot of product you like to display you can increase it 
or reduce it depending on how you want the customer to see okay if you want the customer to spend um so much time looking at the product then you can increase the timing okay and when you increase the timing you can select apply to all pages to um, instead of you going to start setting the same timing for all the pages so you can have already made that easy for you okay so i believe you've learned how i did that it may not be as fast as the other one it may not be as long as the other one because of i use just a few product three products okay see one two three okay I believe you've learned something new today and you've learned how you can duplicate multiple pages and you've learned how you can animate and that's it for this tutorial. Please make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram at klovaustin. I'm going to be dropping more tutorials, okay? Bye-bye for now and God bless you.